From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Prime Minister Min is making the V plea in that Sunday announcement of lockdowns for Cat Island and parts of Andros to try and control the recent spread of the coronavirus on those islands. The V is for vaccination. Fellow Bahamians and residents, as I have encouraged you before, Bahamians and eligible residents must get vaccinated. If we are to get out of this terrible period in our history. The Prime Minister telling the country this is the quickest way out of the emergency situation. We all want to get back to our normal lives. We all want more business activity. But to get there, more eligible Bahamians and residents must come forward to be vaccinated. So far, just over 50,000 persons have had their first shot, more than 6,000 now fully vaccinated. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials continue to monitor the hospital numbers related to the coronavirus. They're dropping 45 persons in after the weekend numbers, four in the ICU. Two more corona-related deaths have been confirmed, a 37-year-old woman and a 75-year-old man, both from the capital taking the death toll from the virus to 226 now. Police in the capital now trying to determine if the man whose body was found in a burned-out house over the weekend died in the fire. Investigations are underway into that. Police in Bimini believe it's a drowning incident. Initially, the body of a construction worker found floating in a sinkhole near the airport, but they're going to need an autopsy to confirm that. Another murder investigation completed by police. They've charged 28-year-old Dwayne Davis, with the May 16th murder of DeAndre Knowles, he's the man whose body was found on the side of Grant Street with multiple gunshot wounds. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight accurate weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power Light, BPL. Partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. No systems in the area. 70 at Freeport, 74 in the capital, 77 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable overnight. The sea's three feet or less. The next tide is a high around 8 o'clock this evening. Wednesday's forecast, partly sunny and nice. Highs from the low to mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World news headlines. A year since George Floyd was killed by a police officer in Minneapolis in the U.S., triggering worldwide demonstrations about police handling of black people in the U.S. in particular. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken in the Middle East trying to make sure that ceasefire between Israel and Hamas continues. So far, it has held. India's coronavirus cases are now coming down, but the country has passed a grim milestone. More than 300,000 deaths from the virus now. Authorities in Italy are trying to determine what caused a cable car to crash to the ground over the weekend, killing 14 persons on board. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section on TV tonight. There's plenty of soccer, some Major League Baseball also. 15 games on the schedule tonight, including Jazz on the Marlins hosting the Phillies. The NBA playoffs continue tonight, including Game 2 of the Sun Series with the Lakers. Dallas and the Clippers and Boston and Brooklyn also playing tonight. John Quill Jones and the Sun in Seattle tonight and the WNBA trying to stay unbeaten for the season. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.